Hey, welcome back to My House Imports. I'm Tony Recker. Here's a pair of large Buddhist symbols hand hammered in the Nepal region, Kathmandu region. Uh, there's two styles of these large symbols, one with a very small nipple as here and another with a large dome like that. They're for two different kinds of rites as they say. This is called for pacific or pacifying rites. I don't you know, I can't pretend to understand all that, but that's what I read in Robert Beer books. Uh, th it has a hole here so you can attach a hanging strap or something. Uh, what they use is a, a cord around their neck so that they can do, they don't have to be carrying them all the time, you know. And um, they use it, I think, pretty much this way, that is, to find this, that gulping sound in there, about cover that hole about halfway and slide it forward. You hear that, that gulping sound? There's about a one and a quarter kilos each in these pieces, uh, say, say uh, two and a half kilos altogether here. This is hand hammered out of one piece of bell metal. They're made by the same people that make singing bowls. And um, they're really quite beautifully made, actually, because uh, you see how difficult it is to get that in and then to come back out again to make that handle there. That And then quite a pronounced hole in here. I don't think it, you can see it very well here, but th they've reinforced it around this rim here a bit, because no doubt cracks would appear there otherwise, I think, because that's such a radical angle. But very interesting things, I think. What interests me most is, okay, how can we use them for, you know, percussion? <laughs> and uh, hence, about this size to hang somewhere. And you can get a variety of sounds. That's with a very light stick. That's a little super ball there on the end of that bamboo. Here's a medium weight stick, which is uh, felt on bamboo. And here's a heavy stick which is uh, hard rubber. So you get a very useful gong-like note uh, with either one. They're, they have slightly different notes. Let me just hang this one up here. You know, these are not musical instruments as such. They're, you could say, ritual instruments. And uh, so they're not tuned to a note the way, uh, say, a Zildjian cymbal is. Um, in fact, the purpose of the sound is to <coughs> dispel bad energy. That's the idea. So a, even a certain degree of dissonance is uh, expected, I think. Um, so you won't get your perfect note that you'll get from your drum set. But you do nonetheless get some very interesting... Whoops. <laughs> Gong notes. Let's try that one again. Come on over here. That's hanging from my ceiling. Oh, I probably just blew your speakers out. Okay. See you soon.